Alright guys, today we're going to be working on the Vanquish VS410. Um, something happened when I was drifting in the back patio when it was slightly wet out. She was doing a little hopping and then all of a sudden she made a noise and uh, now she's uh, not going. So what we're gonna have to do is tear this transmission out and find out what's going on. We do have a Fusion SC 1200 all in one. We're gonna see if that fits this Vanquish. And if that doesn't work, I have a 55 turn axial motor that is a 540 and that might work as well so as of right now we're going to tear into this thing and uh, I've never torn into one of these before so bear with me um, patience um, and we'll uh, make this happen. All right, so to me it looks like there's the transmission, the transfer case, bolts, and two of these bolts, and drive shafts, and this receiver is Velcroed on the top of the transmission, so we're just gonna pull that off. Um, this uh, on-off switch, Velcro to the back of the servo, steering servo. So we'll pull that off the, out of the way. And then, so now we'll take these off here. All right, look at that. So we're just gonna pull that out like so. And then we're gonna take the engine cover off. So it looks to me like When it's hopping, this motor moved. Okay, so the bolts are loose. All right, well that makes things a lot easier. Looks like this is 32 pitch and got 14 tooth, eight millimeter, hmm. So it wouldn't be hard to stick a lower gear in there. Okay, so since we're here, let's take this motor off and we're gonna see if we're gonna see if the fusion 1200 SE will fit in here. Okay. This isn't the Fusion 1200 SE, but it's another 
540 case. Okay, that looks like that would fit in there just fine. Okay. Well, let's see if we can make this fusion fit in. So we'll go ahead and unbox this guy here. I think I got this one on Amazon. For a while they've been out and all you can get would be the Ephesian 2300 Pro. But this that sucker is like 150 in this guy right here. It runs about $69 plus tax. Okay. Ooh, is that guy there? Doesn't come with a card. Just leave that stuff in there for now. Tight fit. Oh, looky there. Fusion SE. Looks like it'll fit right in there. Okay. There you have it. Alright. Now we just have to put a Okay, now we just have to put a pinion on there. Had a 14 tooth. I might dig through the files to see what we have. All right, I'm thinking. Yep. Let's run the wires all coming out this side. Maybe these bolts are too long.
Let's just square it up. Pin in snug down. The trick I learned is a piece of notebook paper. And you put that in between the pin year. And the spur gear. Tighten this down, spin it, snuggy, snuggy. And that's a uh, The paper can go through nice and easy. That's where you want it to be. And you just tighten these down. Feels really good. It's quiet. Okay. Double check the tightness. It's good and tight. That's good and tight. All right. Okay, we've got the uh, Fusion, Fusion SE, and we've got a 11 tooth pinion. Spur gear, everything's looking good after the strip out. Just gonna pull this stuff out through there. Got the 3M sticker, which works okay for the on off switch. I prefer Velcro though. It's got a little bit more give to it. Um, we got directions. And then this is plug in that hooks up to your program card. Right there. Okay. different than this plugin so probably a good idea to keep this with my uh, program card all right I like to keep that in my tool bag okay and then this guy here so let's see what's holding this thing on there. Just like that. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and stick this back in. See if we can't get these lined up. Oh, my bad. So, goes with that guy, and that guy goes with that guy. Okay. So 
So I think that the long one goes in the front drive shaft, and the shorter one goes in the rear drive shaft. Take that. Okay, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to clock this motor. Somehow I dropped it down. Okay, so I reset the pinning gear, re clock this so the wiring is up higher on the transmission. So it should now go into the hole. Alright, so now we screw this motor in. Got some long ones, got some short ones. it is. Uh, I just need to find a place to put the on off switch and that goes to the battery packs I use. Let's just plug in. Oh, this goes to EC. Ah, oh, okay. So the programmer goes right here. Alright, that makes sense. Channel 2 is where the, uh, the ESC goes, and the white is towards the channel 2. Okay, got it. White towards channel 2, and this should just be taped on. Okay. So, there's this guy right here, just set it right there for now, okay, and then more than likely this guy will just go right there 
Um, I don't know how they make this twirly like that. I'd like to do it. I'll probably just do the on off switch behind the servo again. And then this guy goes right to the ESC. White. Okay, let's see if I can find something. Not this. Try that. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and Velcro the on-off switch. Right to the back of I have it low enough to where right there. Okay, there's an on-off switch, there's a plug-in. Um, this guy is gonna hook up to channel 2. White towards the 2. Okay, then I need a chunk of Velcro for the bottom of this. Right there, there. I just got this at the hobby store. Okay. side down right here all right just gonna put this just right in here that there's just fine. Okay. That looks great to me. Okay. On off switch. And we got our um, receiver hooked up right there. And then this just goes to the battery. And we're ready to rock and roll. Okay. So, turn the remote on. I'm gonna hook up this guy. Got the battery hooked up. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and pull 
plug out of the on off switch and then we're going to plug in your our uh, program card and okay um, usually I hook you up there's a one with a plus and a minus so we can get that on there okay then there's one with a omega looking symbol so I usually use that one and then the minus is on the opposite side of the omega symbol so I hook the black up to it plug that in and then I do the same with this guy here there's the omega so the opposite I hook up the black okay and then that remote's on, battery's plugged in. Gonna press on. Okay. Got a noisy servo. My bike says it's expensive. I don't know. It's just noisy. Seems to work okay. All right, so we're gonna go through the, the system. I'm gonna read this. This, the numbers aren't adding up. This came with the 1080. I would imagine works with everything. Let's say brushed. Okay. So we got some instructions here for programming items. So it says uh, item number one. That's throttle matching. You go option one. RPM throttle matching. So enabled, disabled. So we're going to disable that. And item two. Item two is lipo cell auto 2S or 3S. Uh, generally, we're going, let's just leave that auto. Is, uh, I'll run a 2S or a 3S in here. And item 3, cutoff voltage. And we'll just put that on medium. We'll leave that alone. 4, ESC thermal protection. So we're going to put that uh, 257 Fahrenheit value. So we're going to put that at 257. Okay. And item five, motor rotation, CCW or CW, motor rotation five. The front of the motor shaft face it, faces the user's face, i.e. the tail of the motor is far away from the user's face. When the radio is increased, the throttle in the forward direction, if it is set to CCW, the motor shaft rotates counterclockwise. If it is set to CW, the motor shaft rotates clockwise. Due to the structural structural structure difference of the car frame, the rotation direction should not correct. If the rotation direction is wrong, change to the reverse direction. Okay. We'll just leave that one for now. And six. BC voltage. I got 7.4, 7 drag brake force. Um, we're at level 9, 7. So let's just do level 8. Okay, and then 8. Drag brake rate level five. We'll go level nine. Okay, and then nine max reverse force. So we're going to set that at three. Okay, 
and we're just going to say okay. okay. And then we're going to unhook this. We're going to put it in the air. Okay. Let's see if forward's forward. Okay, let's turn this on and off, see if we can get. Okay. So forward goes forward. All right. And then, oof. Steering works. Looks like we are rocking and rolling. Okay. So I'm gonna put this paperwork in with my controller because the 1080 program card works, but this is the key to it. Alright guys, not bad. It's 1.30 in the morning. Probably start about midnight. Go ahead and put the uh, we're gonna shut this down. Turn the controller off. Unhook the battery. And then throw the body back on. So there you have it. Now we put the Fusion SE 1200 uh, crawler system in there. Um, ESC motor combo, the Fit, and the Vanquish um, VS410. Programmed it. Um, it's ready to roll. And uh, it's got the new, it's got nice shocks. Got this front bumper for now. Nothing in the back. Gotta figure that out. And then, uh, there it is. It's feeling good, weight distribution. It's about 60-40. Um, not sure how much it weighs right now. Okay, we got that guy zeroed out. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and stick this guy on there. All right. Five point one two. Five pounds, twelve point four ounces. Gonna have a good time with it tomorrow. All right, thanks for watching. Um, if you like, 
um, give me a like. If you want to see more of my content, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you and have a great day.